Hello and welcome. Multiple video games still use the BK2 video file format, for example, High on Life and Cyberpunk. Here's one, for example, that's a video and something even cooler. This is like a transparent video. Did you see that? It has transparency. Or here, the Korean uh, Cyberpunk intro logo, for example. Or for some reason, a uh, blood harvest inside of High on Life. Or just uh, this skit video from High on Life. Let's go with that instead. All right, so as you can see, when I play them, it shows the Bink video logo. Uh, let, let me just do it again. And radgametools.com. So rad makes video encoders which are ideal for video games as opposed to the internet. So when you watch videos from the internet, the key factor is how can you get the data while watching it. But if you have videos inside a video game on your computer or console, then the video files are already there in whole. So the problem is a different one to solve. So that is why Bink can even exist in this world. And on their website, you just uh, go to the Bink section and then you scroll down to download the Rad Video Tools. Yep, and then you have the Rad Video Tools and you press them and you download them. And I gotta say, it's a bit weird that they use the superior 7-zip format. So head on over to the video on how to install 7-zip. All right, so once you have 7-zip, you just extract it with 7-zip or you can double click it and drag it from there but it will need a password, so I hope you didn't close that website yet. Actually, don't worry, I'm just gonna give you a password. The password is rad, because they are so rad. Basically, this company is so niche, they can just behave a little silly. That's cool, kind of, isn't it? All right, rad, 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 uppercase rad. Okay, and it's out. So here we have this uh, install file. Sorry about these, they already look the same because I already have it installed, but I can just run it again and press yes, and press next, and press install, and it's done because it's so small, and close. And after that, you should be able to just double click BK2 files. So if we double click these things, they now play back, even with transparency. You see the transparency there at the bottom left and then the right? Okay, but you can't convert them or anything. So to convert them, you'll have to go to the start menu, type in rad, that should be enough to find rad video tools, click that, and then you can copy the location, the path, you can copy it right in here, press enter and then you can select the files you want to convert so you can for example hold down control and then press on these three and press uh, not play but rather you have a bunch of options here and we want to convert a file even though we want to batch convert let's convert a file you have selected multiple files do you want to batch process them one by one into separate output files a bit weird wording but yes we do want to batch process them okay you have a bunch of options uh, you can enable and disable video and audio. You can set a bunch of factors like size and duration, but we're gonna ignore all that and just batch convert. Okay, fine. Yeah, press start. And then it just does its thing. Bleep. Bloop. This one's bigger. This one takes a bit longer. Blap. And uh, yeah, close everything. All right, let me just move the BK2 files in here. Uh, I don't need these two files anymore. Oh yeah, close this, try again. And here are the converted files from these original ones. And we can just play them in VLC. Mind you, the transparency does not really work because that's not how MP4 uh, and H.264 encoders work but most videos don't have that. This one doesn't have it at all. This one doesn't have it at all. This one has a little bit. Well, actually, let's try this again. Uh, convert a file and MP4 cannot do transparency. So we're gonna change it to PNG and we're gonna enable alpha, include the alpha plane. And we're gonna, uh, yeah, let's do all frames and let's just convert it. Okay, maybe a bit slow. All right, let's jump into maybe frame 33. Okay, let's jump forward, backward. Looks good. Let me just get an image editor that actually can show transparency. Yeah, I can see transparency right there, especially, but also in the background and in sooner frames even more. All right, so that works with PNG sequences. I'm just gonna set this to MP4 and we're gonna leave that because it's not gonna work anyway. Done. Yeah, see, it's still gray. Very often these video files have no audio but this is a different problem to solve. It depends on the video game, how they implement that. Usually it's WISE, W-W-I-S-E, and you will have to research how to extract audio files from that game, and then you have, will have to figure out how to find the right 
audio file for the right video. Feel free to ask in the comments if you have a specific game in mind that you want to mod or something like that. And until then, have a beautiful day. Ciao.